Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Um, Kevin here again with another video on um, information technology. And for this video, today I'm going to talk about uh, ACMT. It's the Apple Certified Macintosh Technician Certification. <sighs> Basically, for this video, I'm going to talk about um, safety precautions for embedded batteries on MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs and just Mac in general. And the next videos, the next upcoming videos I'm going to make this this uh, this upcoming week would be all about Apple, Macintosh, um, El Capitan, um, software and hardware, um, troubleshooting Mac OS X, and most of the stuff that I'm I'm going to I'm going to record and show you is going to be stuff that you'll probably see on the ACMT exam the one from 2015 2016 which has uh which has Yosemite and it has two parts of the exam which is software and hardware and for the sake of this video I'm just going to talk about batteries but then the other coming the upcoming videos will be about other things that you should know about Macintosh and things that people should know if they're trying to you know use Apple and stuff like that so for this video, it's going to be ACMT, Embedded Battery Safety. So technician service qualifications may be required. Some products may require a service qualification to perform repairs and order parts. In order for you to re do repairs and order parts, you must be ACMT certified for the Apple for the for the Apple products. We have embedded battery safety. Batteries are directly embedded into Apple portable computers and iOS devices. This allows for thinner and lighter designs while still maintaining long battery life. And we, these are our cell packs. Cell packs are actually part, are actually recharge whole energy and provide power to the portable the computer. Com, uh, cell packs can get punctured or damaged during repair or testing as they are not shielded by protective enclose, enclosure or cover. So as you can see here, I get my little pen over here. As you can see here, this is a cell pack. All oh, this is a cell pack. All oh, this is the battery for this. This is a MacBook Air. All of this is the battery. Yeah, this whole thing is the battery. When I when I when I I was a Macintosh technician before. When I first started, I thought I thought it was just like a piece of the battery. I thought it was just this part right here. It is actually the whole thing. I was shocked when I saw when I opened this thing up. I don't know about Macintosh back in the days. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh, that's the battery. Oh, okay. So this is the battery for that. And I have about I have about uh, like three, four years fixing um, cell phones. So um, when I see a, when I see this one over here, which is the iPhone, I wasn't surprised about the battery on this one. But the one on top is the MacBook Air. I didn't I didn't know about I didn't know about this battery. This whole thing is the battery. So we have the top case assembly. Some Apple portable computers have batteries built into the top case assembly. Replacing a defective battery in these instant instances will require a replacement of the entire the entire top case assembly. So as you can see, I put arrows on this uh, cell pack. In order for you to take out this battery, you have to, what the arrows are, are the requirements to take out this particular model of the battery. And um, I'm going to show you a couple of things. If you, look at the, if you look at this real carefully, you see there's a fan over here. Yes, this over here. See this over here? This thing over here? This is the hard drive of the MacBook uh of the MacBook Air. This is the actual hard drive. This thing here is the hard drive. This is more than likely the wire of this card. And this over here is probably the CPU. And then this is the flex cable or the cable for the LCD connection. Always exercise proper safety procedures. Handle the battery or the top case assembly with built-in battery by the edges with two hands at all times. Do not lift or hold the battery on the top case assembly with built-in battery using the cable or the connector. Never drop, stack, puncher, press, crush, twist, torque, or strike, or squeeze, or apply 
unnecessary pressure to the actual battery itself hatch or top case assembly with built in battery. Inspect the battery for dent, scratches, or other possible defects. Always replace a battery or top case assembly. Never expose the battery or cells or top case assemblies with built in battery to liquid. Never apply liquid or water onto the battery. Key batteries, top case assemblies with built-in battery computers away from heat or open flames, or in open flames. When replacing a battery, use the battery cover as directed by the product service guy. And the 11 one, that really doesn't, that applies to you if you're like ACMT certified and you're working for an Apple store. Always ship or transport, transport a battery in its original packaging. It should be bagged or properly packaged in the original packaging as shown as the return package section of the training course. Just as for people who are ACMT certified. Personal protective equipment will include gloves, heat resistant gloves, safety glasses, cleaning wipes, cut resistant gloves, and although not specific to battery safety, these should be stored in the safety kit for handling bro broken glass, etc. We have embedded batteries with battery covers. Most battery, most uh, MacBook Airs, when you open them up, they have battery covers on top of the battery. And here is an example of that. This, these are all covers. These are the correct battery covers. These are the covers that are on top of the battery. They usually come in MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros, and most cases usually in MacBook Airs. And and these covers also are actually on top of the. Um, if you if you're trying to take out a cable. For an iPhone, for example, they, these, there's a cover similar to this that covers the cable, the flex cable of the LCD and things like that. Upon removal of the battery cover, inspect the battery for any damage or debris. Pay special attention to any dents, devolts, dots, scratches, or these may cause thermal events with prolonged use. And these are actual um, swelling of batteries. Um, one time I had a, a client, he came up to me, he had an iPhone, and he told me that his phone is, his phone is like sticking out for some reason. He had an iPhone 5S, I believe, and the battery was actually sticking out of the actual, actual, um, the actual um, phone, like the whole thing was just coming out of the phone. I'm like, wow, what happened here? He, she's, he told me he charged it overnight and the battery was, um. The battery just swelled up on him the, the next morning when he woke up and it cracked his cable, it cracked his screen, it cracked the flex cable, he needed a new battery and a new screen, pretty much destroyed his phone, which is, well, he got it replaced, but it was just, it was crazy, I had never seen that before, I was, I was shocked. Um, if the battery is swollen or replaced, the battery top case assembly with the battery, first exercise the procedures outlined in this scenario. The swollen battery section, which is this, I, I went over this already. And these are the cables that you will commonly you will commonly see on a ba on a on a battery, like the one. Let me get my um. Let me get my pen, like the one over here. This one you will commonly see on a battery, like a cell pack battery. You have to pull it out. You you you, you could use your finger. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, use like a like a little tab or something like that, like one of the tools. Like this one, you will grab it and just slowly pull the cable out without breaking the cable. I would recommend doing it like that as opposed to using your finger because, you know, you might get you might get shocked or something like that. I wouldn't recommend it. And then these are, there are other cables here as well. There's this one over here. And then this is, this is the one that connects to the connects by the motherboard to the fan and that pretty much concludes my uh, presentation on batteries um, if you have any questions or concerns please let me know uh, rate comment subscribe thank you for watching my video and hope you have a good day